dum dum. So I hope this music is royalty free, but I actually don't know because no one ever tells you. And where did it go? I think I opened it in the browser. Yeah. Here I go. Uh, it is official YouTube stuff, so it should be royalty free. I should not get claimed. This is always annoying. You get emails, you get bombarded with things. This one should hopefully be free. So let's do this. Let's 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 continue my game here. I have not really shown anything there, but now I am. That's what I'm doing at the night time. Right now it is night time here. Uh, well, it's 11 p.m., which is not too late, um, but it's still considered night time. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. And let me just check out a couple of things. Dun, 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 dun. I just hooked up some music to relax. It says live. Good, 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 good. Just checking this out. Yeah. Hello, if everyone, if anyone's watching. Hello, hi. Um. So here is the current status. Hi, smile. Hey. hi. Um. Yeah. The current status is as follows. Well, I can't actually. Let's let's actually export the game and let's view it in in all its glory. I'm fine. Hi, how are you? If my voice sounds a little like like not too loud, I usually I'm yelling, but here it's already pretty late, so I don't want to wake up my neighbors and my fiance who's sleeping two rooms over. Because <laughs> my voice is usually pretty loud and I don't want to wake anyone up. <clears throat> and it's also quite nice actually to talk quiet for a change. My throat thanks me. So let's see, I got this and now I can actually start my application. That's the one I've I've been working on a game because I needed to get my head out of uh, PLCs, out of automation, out of work. And that's how it looks so far. And I want to do more things now. I want to implement some things like a system that you can build buildings like that one there. But first I want to like have a... Um, you're already going to sleep. Go to sleep, sure. It is pretty late here too. But I'm, I would be programming right now anyway, so that's why I'm also streaming it. They've got little enemies that can already... <laughs> they don't attack or anything. <laughs> they just follow me around. Basically now they're just following me. <laughs> I can already like, like shoot them, which is not the right thing. I know shooting, nah. But right now I'm shooting them. It's gonna be like a lot of things. I'm gonna implement a lot of different mechanisms there. Hi, boss. Hi. Um, and there is loot that we can already get. So I've implemented already a lot of things. Many hours already went in here. I have an inventory system, so I can equip things. I have stats. There's so many things I can already do. And now I actually want to. Uh, <laughs> it was the same question as the smile. I love it. Uh, I'm, I'm great. I'm great. How are you? Um, yeah, so now I actually want to add more uh, things like you see that building over there that shouldn't be there already I want to implement like a system that you can build things um, Yeah Therefore I want to design like a platform that you can build not the building directly because right now it's the whole building Off topic <laughs> sure go go with go you're off topic perfectly fine. Um yeah, like this and there. So, hey guy Noel, hi. Um, I hope the music is not too loud or anything. Is it? Oh, it's pretty loud actually. Why is it that loud? Should not be. Let me just tweak around a little bit in my browser here, my stuff. So I got everything figured out. That sounds nice. Tech prefix. What do you mean about tech prefix? Uh, let me just Google that very quick if I know what you mean. So I have not worked with tech prefixes yet. I will look into it, but I haven't done anything on it yet. 
<laughs> hey Skodorov. <laughs> no, I, I was just programming. And I decided, hey, I can also do... Uh, I, uh, let's just do a live stream. So I basically just hit the button live stream. Of course, with some preparation. But that's it. Um, yeah, so I want to have like a base that I can build on. So I'll take uh, basement. It's not called basement. How is it called in English? Fundament. In German, it's fundament. Foundation. Is it called foundation? Probably it's called foundation or something. Like I want this to be able to... Like you can place this and you can build a building on it. It's probably better. Like foundation. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, girls, why do you do that to me? <laughs> That's not what I want. <laughs> Building. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty much what I want. <laughs> of course, they call it foundation. I like this style. Like in those shapes. Because then you can build on those shapes. It's actually pretty nice. Civilization 6, I haven't played Civ 6. I've played all the previous ones. I started with Civilization 1 back like 100 years ago. What? It feels like 100 years ago. Um, but I haven't played 6. I don't even know if I have it. I think I want this kind of foundation. Oh, this is just with those... This is actually way nicer. That's a good idea to have those uh, pillars just in the ground. I'm gonna build this as a foundation. And then on top, I'm just gonna put a plate. Maybe we can play. I don't even know if I have it. Let me check Let me check on my Steam if I have it. I think I've got it, but I haven't really played it. I haven't been online in Steam for a long time. Hey, number one, hi. Number one deleted? Why is the number one deleted? <laughs> oh, there's so many Steam sales going on. What's on? I haven't checked Steam in such a long time. Let's see my library and there is Civilization. You see, I got it actually, but I haven't started it even. I've never downed it. I've never done it. <laughs> see, that's how you do it. City Skylines 2015. I've played it for like five minutes, 30 minutes. Yeah. Terraria is actually quite nice. I should continue so many things. Actually, I think my favorite game that I have on Steam is um, Oxygen not included. I've played for almost 300 hours. I totally love this game. I don't have the Platinum Trophy. I don't have all the achievements, but I love this game. So foundation. Some pillars in the ground. Bloop. And then we build on top. Let's do this. How thick is such a pillar? A uh, pillar size? Maybe? Oh, that's really, it's gonna give me like size there. Is that in millimeters? Is that an in inch? Is that in what is that? That's two inch. Ah, uh, no, two feet? Does that think feet? Gosh, dang it. I hate this American stuff. Ah, uh, maybe I should just put it in German if I search for the German thing. Um, There we go, that's what I want. Ah, oh, it's even with an explanation how you do it. Awesome. <laughs> uh, it says 20, it's just 20 centimeters? That sounds small. Let's make it 30? Yeah, 30 centimeters. Let's make a foundation 30 centimeters. So let's get into Blender. That's the chest I made. I, today I made this nice, lovely little chest. I love Blender. Like, you can create so many cool things in almost no time. That looks silly. So this is awesome. Um, yeah, let's make a new file. Let's make those foundations and then we can put buildings on top. Uh, how do I make a new file? I'm a beginner in, in almost all of this. I am not... I am pretty new. So I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, furniture buildings, and there we go with 
foundation. I, I usually put a zero zero in the end, so I actually know. Um, so I actually know that I can add on later on if there's a foundation one, two, three. I can. I don't put a number in the back. I already have the zero zero, which was the first. I always do that. We have a camera and a light here that I don't need. I can delete, but I usually put them in the connection. Good. So this is there's gonna be a foundation. Which size is it? Which size is a building usually like 10 by 10? 10 by 10 is I think a nice size. Let's make it 10 by 10. I like the the playlist that YouTube gave me. It's like a I hope it's royalty free, I don't know. I think it is right. I don't know if it's royalty free. I hope. I, I sure hope it is. <laughs> uh, wait, I'm making a game. Yeah, I'm. Um, currently, I don't really know. It's a little bit uh, Subnautica bit, but I want more characters in there. I want more interaction. Oh, I, it's not gonna look as fancy as it does as Subnautica does. But I want to like have some base building and exploration stuff. Yeah. I've already implemented like a lot of code. Um, yeah, much, much code actually. There's no crafting yet, but there's, for example, here I can collect things. I can interact with trees. I can interact, collect this, collect that. Um, and now I want to be able to create buildings. So put foundations on the ground. That should not be too difficult, I hope. And then I also want, in contrast to Subnautica, I want, like, it's not underground, underwater. I want um, a combat system. And I want this to be multiplayer in the end, so that you can explore and build base with your friends. There's a lot. Like, it's a huge project. I always grab those huge projects. Uh, realistic Minecraft with guns. <laughs> kinda. Kinda. Like... You can't, like, I don't want to be able to dig in the ground and so there's gonna be, um, maybe, um, what's it called, dens, burrows, stuff you can explore. Like, building is, should only be in the base, because it always annoyed me in Minecraft that you go somewhere and then you just build wherever you are and whatever you want to do. I mean, it's nice that you can do it, but I always didn't really like it. So let's make the foundation here um, 10 by 10. So now it's 10 by 10 by 10. That's quite big. So I'm going to resize the Z axis here. Just a bit. A bit more. So now we just have this plate thingy. This plate thingy. And now I want those pillars in the ground. But there. That shouldn't be too difficult. What I will do... Actually, I will resize this. Uh, it's not 10 by 10 by 10. It should... Ah, that's delete it. I hate this standard cube that's there. I don't know what that music is, by the way. Uh, 10 by 10, that's 5 by 5. I just learned how to use Blender, I just learned how to use Unity as well. Everything self-taught by YouTube tutorials. I love that I'm doing YouTube tutorials, but I still use them. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, actually. I don't deny there's some strange evolutionary process going on. But let's put that here, let's put that there. And I'm just gonna build it once and then I'm gonna uh, copy and paste to the other panes there. Uh, so I want those pillars every once in a while, which is, I can make those loop cuts here. And those loop cuts are basically now my orientation points where I want things. Like this, and now I could put a pillar here, for example, and there, and there, and there. But then we would have like a floating platform. I think I want more. I could also just go there and just say... 
uh, subdivide on this whole layer here. A subdivision is oops, wrong. Subdivision is just grabbing all of these and making more squares out of it. So I can actually use more squares and I will only do this to the bottom layer. I won't do it to the top layer, to the side layers, because I don't need more there. That would just be wasted calculation power. Uh, so how do I subdivide? Is that even possible? Mesh? Separate now. Maybe face? Solidify, beauty intersects. I don't know. I could inset now. I can just go here and subdivide. Oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. <laughs> but definitely not what I want. Ah, man, screw it. I'm going to use the loops. I'll make more. That's this. Uh, I think I did. Geese? I, th I think I did a video about exactly this. Let me check. I think I did exactly on that topic. I think I called it easy alarms or something. Because it's an important topic. Uh, Yeah, there. I think that's exactly the video you want. If you have watched that, then that's not the video you want. Okay, I thought that's on there with the uh, with the boolean. Then I don't exactly know what you want to need. So now we can put those pillars there. Just depends on how many I want. Skip the explanation. That could be. That could be. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna grab these things here, so, some of these, and just gonna extrude them, which will um, make pillars, basically. And then we're done. <laughs> that sounds too easy, I know, I know, and it is. I want them here. How big is this thing? How big is this edge? I don't, I don't have anything. This one is... It always doesn't really give me the size. I don't know why it doesn't give me the size. That's always annoying. I can use a measure tool to do this. That's one meter. Did I say this is in total five? Why is this 10? That's odd. Uh. Ah. What's possible to say? Ah, yeah, sorry, then I then I have just skipped it and but I can't do it now <laughs> You have to you have to just get through it a little bit then to just click yourself through Can't be too difficult. I think I made a second alarm video But I can't recall uh, What did I want to do I, I really it's already late that's why I actually went online because I thought I can um I can get more stuff done. I think I can't. I think I just can't. <laughs> um, man. Uh, I love it, like all the guys that do uh, Blender professionally, they're like click, 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 click. And I'm like, I click, I click. 
I think just some just some very basic, not pixelated, but uh, what's it called? Just some really basic, basic art style, like low poly, probably, but I'm not sure yet. The first pillar is gonna be here, and that should now be not too much. That's like 50 centimeters now, like 50, 60. Ah, it's still very big. That doesn't matter. <clears throat> I should do one more. Man, I'm too tired for this actually. <laughs> let's undo everything. Let's undo it. Let, let's. And then do it correct. So, here we go. Cursor, go please to the grid. To now, Cursor. To world origin. Control A. Man. I'm so not concentrated. <laughs> Hi, Mohamed. Hi. Uh, 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 there's another version. You have the WinCC Basic version. There's basically two different versions. Ba WinCC Basic and WinCC Professional. In the Basic version, you don't have sliders. You just have basic panels. There's a difference between basic and comfort panels. The comfort panel would have the slider in there. Basic doesn't. Here we go. I should turn on proportional. Yeah, that doesn't help right now, the mirror thing, because I am working directly at the beginning of the coordination, uh, coordinate system. No, it's okay. I'm, I can't concentrate at all because it's late. I should not have started this. But here I am. Um. Oh, there's the dimensions. Ah, oh, great. That's what I was searching for. Wait, not 20 centimeters. That's 20 centimeters? That's pretty big. Okay. Wait, no, I want it. 10 meters total, there, 10, 10 by 10. It's probably already rather big, but as a foundation for, for a small building, I think 10 by 10 is fine. Yeah, that should be okay. <laughs> Can't stop that, I know exactly what you mean. Um, if you need a download link for the Tia thing, I can give you a download link. Like that's the official semen stuff and you have a trial version for 21 days. Um, and there is, if you see it here, it says trial download step 7 basic professional. That's exactly the same for both versions. And here we have WinCC basic comfort advanced and we have professional. You actually just need the basic version here. And there you should already have um, the panels in, the comfort panels. That's the panels that you need. Those don't have anything on them, they're pretty basic. Those are very good and advanced would be a PC. You can't just search for the download. I can also give you a link here. That's version 15, I think, the link I have. So let's basically do let's let's actually start. <laughs> oh man. Now why is there a loop cut now? Well I have loop cut selected. So I can also take these loop cuts and basically push them in a different way. Like like put them in a different position. And that's what I'm just gonna do now. I don't want it to be too even. Too even would be boring, that's the thing. Uh, oh, then the school versions should be fine. The school versions that they give out are actually okay.
Because the school versions, they are... Um, they are actually good. That's pretty common, Mohamed. Uh, that's pretty common um, that you, you do this. Like, I've seen it in a lot of projects, actually. Oh, there's already Loop Cut in the center. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete the rest now. Why is my nose so itchy? Uh, dissolve now, actually. Dissolve. Oh, I know what my problem is, actually, the whole time. I didn't turn on the right mode. Oh, come on. Uh, I've never done the uh, server control with a with a 1200, but it's not too difficult. It's just some PWM, basically. <laughs> oh, I didn't need that. That's right. Don't need those edges here, cause I'm gonna mirror anyway. If I now select everything, I should be able to mirror. Yeah. You are very welcome, Hakon. <clears throat> I mean, I get ad revenue. <laughs> but no, I'm just doing it to help, actually. Controller's using a PW, yeah. YouTube user. <laughs> hey! <laughs> uh, nothing. It is way more stable. Like YouTube user, a former student of mine, I assume, um, asked, "Why would you take a PLC if you cannot? Uh, you can't take a Raspberry Pi for everything." Um, on the same, like you could ask the question, like, "Why not just take a microcontroller, like a microprocessor? You just take the microprocessor and you just build everything around that you want." The PLC, in contrast to a, a Raspberry Pi, already has industrial um, applications installed. You don't need to reinvent everything. One engineering hour is 100 euro. To get a Raspberry Pi to do the same thing as a PLC can, that's, I don't know, maybe a thousand hours, if you want the full package. And then you would get easy 50 50 000 to 100 000 euro costs that's why you don't take a raspberry pi because it just can't do the industrial standards like a plc <laughs> i know i know i know but but that's a pretty common question actually i'm like no it's just you it is a controller why don't you just take a cell phone the cell phone can control everything that thing is so smart it's just not the application You, yeah, you go to sleep, geese. Oh, they, yeah, that's but that's the answer that there is. So let's finally build the freaking foundation here. Uh, I want this. I want to make some loop cuts here. I think that's the right size. No, I don't care actually anymore. So, uh, um, where do I want the pillars? I think I want them there. These corners here. Actually, only one corner. Actually, only there. Let's build one pillar first, and then we'll see about the rest. Ah, screw it. Wrong word. I'm not too familiar with... Um, with Blender, like the 3D tool I'm using. I'm not too... <laughs> yeah, it was correct, I know. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's correct, that's why they're leaving, yeah. Ah, Russian, I can't speak Russian. So let's put an element there. Let's make a pillar. A pillar is usually like a cylinder, I assume. Actually, no, a pillar is usually more like a block but I'm gonna make a cylinder with not too many vertices I think that one look, would look neat just smaller of course 
There we go. Yeah, that looks okay. Not too high. I'm gonna take it anyway. And extrude it. Oh, I won't extrude it. I can actually grab it. Something like that. Something like this. And that's pretty much already the foundation. I can change many, many things now. Um, for example, foundations, they're not too straight. I want it... I want it differently a bit. I want all the edges. No, I just want the top edges. Uh, I want to bevel a little bit. That looks like shit. Ah, oh, it's the edge. Really, it takes the edge. What? No, it doesn't. It does. Ugh. <laughs> I just want like a, a dent in there. Like the corner should not... Like this, like in the picture. <laughs> Why does it? Why? Why is this happening? What happens if I take this? I cannot really work with the software yet. But I swear I was way better earlier. I don't even know why I'm so bad. Probably this freaking music. Free music. You know, you always need music that costs money. Then, then that's way better. Man, what? Why? Why does it do that? What? <laughs> I love 3D software. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. <laughs> Do I have to take the... Really? No. Do I have to take these two? No. I swear it worked before. Uh, it's gonna be a foundation for a building. Why does this not... Selected item. I'm, I'm, it worked before. Of course that won't work. I get it. Profile segments loop slide with offset. <laughs> uh, I don't care anymore actually, let's just do Let's just do it a bit differently then. You know, I'm still gonna do this, but... I'm not gonna uh, be annoyed by that anymore. I'm just gonna do this. That's what I wanted. That's a bevel. But I don't know why it didn't work. <laughs> BMW or Mercedes? Uh, Mercedes. I'm not such a BMW fan. Uh, my brother works for BMW and my father worked, he's retired now, for BMW, but I'm not a big, big BMW fan. If you ask me, if I could choose, actually it's Audi. Yeah, it would be Audi, like my, my top choice would be Audi. Kind of a foundation, I would say. It's not pretty or anything. It doesn't matter. I don't want pretty. Like, in the beginning, we are starting with a just... Not pretty. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> um, but actually, what I want to do is the following. I want to not mirror right now. I want to do... Something that's called a programmer move. No, that's not what I wanted. Edge mark as a seam. Yeah. She don't need the. What? 
Leute. So now I actually want to give it a little bit of color. I could just give it a material, a so-called. Uh, then it would already have some color, but that would still be kind of ugly. Or a test. Oh, I'm gonna call it test. I'm gonna change the mode here, and then I would give it like a brownish color as a foundation. Foundation should be grayish, right? I think a bit brown, but more grayish. Something around like this. Ah, no, that's gonna be fine. This is fine. Let's not call it test. Let's call it foundation. Uh, let's apply our thing here. Ba -doo. And that should be it for now. I mean, it's ugly as frick. That's okay. I mean, I already have this ugly building <laughs> that I actually don't want right yet, right now. Uh, ah, let's keep it. That's the ugly ass building. And there's gonna be the ugly ass foundation right next to it for testing. Buildings foundation, there it is. And there you see, that's gonna be my building foundation. The brown color looks looks okay. Let's see how it looks in-game. Oh, the music is actually relaxing. I don't know if that's good or bad. I think it's bad, actually. I can still walk through. That's, of course, a thing. That looks okay-ish. Uh, the problem I have with it right now, there's no stairs. Like, I cannot climb it. I cannot go up. I want stairs. That's the main reason why I built it this way. Uh, they're gonna be huge. Like, they're gonna be this huge here. Um, there's probably an easy way, but... I don't freaking know. <laughs> uh, here we go. I want to do it. Uh, let's turn these off first. I don't want it too wide, actually. I'm going to cut it in half. That should be better. Oh, that's still a meter. Ish. What was this? Five meters? That's a bit. Yeah. Because it's going to be both sides, it's going to be mirrored like that. But that's going to be fine. Uh, actually, pretty easy what I'm going to do now. Because stairs are pretty easy, actually, if you uh, think about it. It's this, I'm going to extrude. And you see, that's my first stair. I will just mess up all the, the complete sizes. They're gonna be messed up. That's okay. That should be the same height as this one. Ish. Because half of it is gonna be hidden underground, because why not? Um, yeah. Uh, and now I'm gonna make all these. What do you mean inaccessible? Oh, oh, I can do everything with this in the game. Everything that I want it to be. Just want to delete these two. So I'm gonna just extrude. But how long is a stair? Like a foot needs to fit on it. Does it? Stairs. <laughs> How big is a stair? The general rule in the US is what? 17.78 to 27 centimeters. There's really a rule for it. <laughs> I'm gonna take the median. Oh, the threat, what is that horizontal or step? Ah, okay, there's the okay. So we have 25.4 centimeters. Ah, English is fine here, my English is also not the best. <laughs> <Jet -lifted night laughs> sky with you. 
Yeah, I just took the first uh, you, uh, royalty free, so I don't, don't get copy striked. So we have 25 centimeters. Um, let's take 25 as the horizontal scale, and what is the other 20? 25 times 20. I'm gonna extrude by 25. Then we're gonna have a height of 20. How do I do this? How do I do a height of 20? I don't know. <laughs> Um, I really don't know how I do the height of 20. Doesn't matter, I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna cut it in pieces. Um, that looks okay. That looks okay. That looks okay. That looks okay. There's definitely 100% better ways to do this. But I don't really care. It's a late night and I'm having fun. <laughs> so I'm gonna select all of these. Can I? Oh, this is all of it. Of course, it's all of it. Uh, not this one. What did I say? 25. 2.25. Good. Next. Next. Whoops. Didn't hit the button. Next. Next. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually fun. Next. That's it. And that's enough for now, I think. Uh, my main problem is that all of these, I hate that all of these are still there. Because I don't need them. If I'm gonna... Um, can I do this? Yeah. If I'm gonna mirror it anyway, those are completely useless. They're gonna just gonna lead to errors. Oh, that one. <laughs> Why is this one still here? What? What? What is this? Why is that still floating there? What? Why does it still exist? Man, there's something with copy and paste went wrong here. Bum -bum. This is chill. <laughs> this is some chill music. And I will definitely still get copy striked. Which makes sense because it's their music and stuff, but eh. That was so annoying. Here we go. See, we have nice stairs. There's so many better ways to do this. <laughs> oh, I don't care. See, nice stairs, nice stairs, look at this. Very nice. Let's just make it so that it's really in the ground. Yeah, see, that's, that, that's neat. And then we have our foundation to play with. Ah, oh, look at it, isn't this pretty? It's still floating? No, it's not floating. I cannot go up here yet. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's the next thing, let's go up there, foundation. Foundation is gonna get a mesh collider. Here we go, got it, that's it. Now we can actually go up there. I think the music, now that I complimented the music, it's gone. I think it doesn't like to be complimented. So here we go, we've got our foundation. I mean, this is just the first version of everything that I'm gonna do with this game. Video stopped, do you wanna continue? Yeah, I want to, please, YouTube. Please, YouTube. <laughs> Just one second. Funky souls. I should just, I should probably just hook up normal music that I would usually listen to and get co copy striked. 
But I don't care. Bang. I can also shoot it, but it's miss because I'm not hitting anything. Makes sense? Makes sense. So now I basically want something on there that's that should be interactable. And I can then build a building on it. So let's get back to the sketch here. Or actually, let's finish the stairs. I know it is boring, but I don't mind. Um, here we go. Uh, let's keep cutting them apart. Oh, I should have used this. There's a tool that basically cuts them for you. Yeah, this is this is my new project. I should have used this actually. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, I'm just making a game because I, I felt like most games nowadays they're oops, too expensive and I don't like it. <laughs> and most of them are actually not good. They're all uh, Half-Life, not Half-Life clones. They're all, um, what is it, Call of Duty clones? Which I don't really appreciate. I love myself a good game, not just Call of Duty over and over. But basically, I'm just uh, trying to learn um, Blender and Unity. That's the main reason why I'm doing it. And it's not going to be Half-Life 3. Hey, and they pretty much announced Half-Life 3, I would say. With Half-Life Alex in the end. I mean, I haven't played Half-Life Alex. Yeah, I know. A lot of Call of Duties are also good. Not saying that they're bad, but I don't like to play the same game over and... What did I do? Over and over again. Most of them are 80% it's the same. So, those stairs might be a little bit too long, but that's fine. <laughs> now we can build buildings really high up. <laughs> Which is actually quite fun. Nope, wrong button. What? Here we go, got it. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that's the stairs right there as well. Oh, which is okay, I think. Oh, did I right? I'm mirroring. Of course, it mirrors it both ways. I could deactivate it, but then we only have like a really small platform to build on. I will. I like this. Bisect was bisect flip. What? No, I like this. This is cool. Actually, from the back, we have stairs there as well. That's all building. That's what Bill should have. Should have. Looks like a place for killing. Pretty much, yeah. That's the idea. <laughs> but now I can do this. Awesome. An execution place, like a um, ein Schafott. Schafott. I think in German it's Schafott. Like that thing. Like a uh, like like, yeah. The place where people get executed. Yeah, of course, I understand what you mean. It looks like it. <laughs> but I mean, it's something. And now I could basically take the building and put it on top there. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's see how stupid it looks. I mean, it's not, it won't look too stupid, but... Let's just see. And I want to have these foundations so that you just can't just build everywhere. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> now, now our foundation even has a little building on it. <laughs> and I can open the door and come in. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is fun. <clears throat> I can even close the door, see? I mean, that that's okay, I would say. You can go back down here, house. 
building for killing. I totally understand what you mean. It's a building for killing. Yes. And that's okay. <laughs> building for killing it is good next thing as i said i want like a little pillar in the center or somewhere uh that we can select and then we can basically build something so let's also whoop not not subdivide how did i do it right click is subdivide seriously that's what i was searching for <laughs> i love that in the uh, in the back it has that as well uh, let's get rid of it I love it, but uh, we gotta we got to get rid of it. Let's apply this. Let's actually get in here. Let's get rid of all of these. Let's kill the vertices. I don't care. Oops. <clears throat> I know there's way better ways. I don't care. Hey, if you know better ways, you can build me a building. <laughs> I would, I would welcome it. That's why I just, I really have just barely started with 3D uh, designing and stuff. So I haven't gotten really far. And yeah, I'm gonna delete all those spots, each one on their own. I know I could select more of them at once, but no. That's not how I do it. There's always many ways. Uh, um, usually not, but I have created a script that makes it possible. Usually Unity does not work with PLCs, but I really have, I have done some scripting. Um, like factory IO, it is like the one I created is kind of like factory IO. It could build more systems. I built a script, an element that I just toss in the project. It's called PLC. And this PLC is basically the link to the physical PLC or TR portal. But it is kind, it is quite an effort to do so. And it's not the standard way of doing it. But nevertheless, I did. <laughs> So let's put something here in the center that we can use. Like a little like like block with a book on top of it. Like what are those podiums? Uh, like a little podium. Let's put a podium here. Uh, whoops, wrong button. Oh, what's this? Like a little podium like this. See, that's that's nice. Might be... No, it's the right size. It's fine. Let's put that up here. Let's put this down here. Let's actually... Let's make it a bit like this. So then there's going to be a book, basically, and you can use the book and then you can build. What I don't like is that this thing is the same color as everything else, so we're quickly gonna paint over everything. Uh, and also what we need is that this thing is a separate element, that it works on its own. So I got this. This is enough. So I need to, that's why I did this. So I can basically separate this from the rest. And now it's an own element, it's called cube 001. Now this is the podium. This is gonna be the foundation. The music gets better. The, t the more tired I become, the better the music. <laughs> So now I can def uh, basically choose a different material for this. This is gonna have podium. Oops. It's just different. Let's choose something uh, greenish. For the beginning, like for testing, let's choose something greenish. 
a temple? It might be a temple. You can build on top, maybe a temple. So, got this, and now we see in the game. Oh, that happens, right. I forgot that this happens. Uh, that should have fixed it. That's why. I, I want this to be... It could be ba not everything, but it could be a lot of different things. Or maybe I should put the podium downstairs. <laughs> because, oops, uh, if I now build the building... The music is fine, right, Abdel? Right? Abdel collect. I don't know how you want to be called. Uh, I actually like it now. The podium should actually be down here. And I can easily do that by grabbing it. Let's put it right next to the stairs. Why is that actually not correct? That should be in a zero position here. My podium is gone. <laughs> should be somewhere down there. Wait. Oh, you can't see it because I had it on the other screen. You can only see my main screen. I'm used to having stuff on my other screen. <laughs> uh, grab Z. Grab X. No, grab Y a little bit. I have actually everything rotated incorrectly for me. Uh, no. No, that's still... that's. No. So that's now the correct orientation that I usually use. Oh, and working with two tools at the same time, you get confused with the keyboard shortcuts. What is this? What is with my cursor? Something's not right with my cursor. So Xbox. So it has to be the same height. <laughs> do, 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 do. Now it's a bit, it's actually a bit stupid now. The problem right now is that it will just look shitty. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. This is just for testing. This is just the version one. There you go, it should be there now. Oops, I rotated everything, I forgot. Music is actually fine, yeah. Oh, and of course, again, I need to put all the stuff there. It actually looks kind of nice now. I mean, it's not the best, because that's not what I'm here for <laughs> yet. Uh, but it looks, it looks decent. And now we have foundation, and foundation should have foundation and podium. Different objects, and I can give them different parameters. The foundation will get a mesh collider so I can climb it. The podium will get a, a box collider actually because that's less calculation power. Ah, let's take a mesh collider, no one cares. Whoops. I can already shoot. <laughs> I can go up here, I can basically go, I cannot like go through it i can jump on top of it but that's it that's cool uh yeah so podium will also get something called a script i will call it interactable uh building podium that's a nice name i know And this is a script. 
A script is basically a piece of code that tells the thing what it should do. And I've already done a lot of scripts before here. I, I don't know, I have a hundred scripts already in the software. Um, and this one should be not, it should not be a mono. A mono behavior is basically this functions on its own. So everything that's in here is just there. It, there's nothing else. Uh, so I will make this for off type interactable. I have created this. So now, even if I don't have anything in here, everything that I have in interactable is already in there. It's inheriting. It's in, inheriting from there. And you see there is not much in here except for stamina use and a use function that I have actually commented out. But I have more on this uh, in the other codes. So there should already, we should already be able to see something that is very, very, let me just build it so you can actually see it. It should be very, very hard to see, but something should happen. I don't tell you what, till we see it. I'm building software now. Building means I'm compiling it so that you could basically also run it on your PC without having the programming software. I just have an executable now. And here we go. There it is. Look at the building. The foundation looks nice. I mean, it doesn't look pretty, but it looks okay. Yeah, that's what should happen. You see it? If I go over this with my cursor, it changes to this, um, to this button, to this hand. Uh, for some years, yeah. Or years, wasn't even years. Not for long, but I definitely worked in the industry, yeah. Not in the, on the factory floor, but in the, um, in... I also was doing some stuff on the factory floor, but uh, more in the offices. Yeah, now we have the cursor, the little hand. That means this is an interactable. So we can do stuff with this. So whatever I put in the code now, Whatever I put in here is what we what will happen with the thing. Awesome. I think now we can start coding. It it also looks okay, right? You're you're right. I, I think for me it looks okay. <laughs> Why is it so crooked? Oh, because it's global and not local. Makes sense. Because I rotated it a little bit. Um, so now for the code here, interactable. There we go. You have the code here. I will open some code on the other on my other screen uh, because I can't remember how I do things. I know exactly which one I want, but there's so many scripts already. Because I want to copy a little bit from the other script. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Is it there? Is it there? Ah, oh, it's there now. So what I want to do, there was this use function that I had in the other... Is it closed now? <sighs> that I want to take from the other function, it should override the base function that we have. So it should override interactable, but keep some other parameters. It should only override the use function. Um, and in the use function, we should have the base function. Latest stream that you have seen. Yeah, I usually don't stream late because my fiance is sleeping two rooms over. So there's just two doors. And if I have my light on, it's pretty bright actually. Um, that's why. But today she said, yeah, it's fine, do it. I don't care. She usually says that actually. <laughs> um, but I still had the energy. But my concentration is so low actually that my programming skills, maybe you have realized that my programming skills right now, they are just not existing. <clears throat> so if this is being used, this little podium, then we want to, 
that's now just for beginner for the beginning of course later on I will change that um, we want to create an instance we want to create create an instance um, wait a second uh, that is this building we want to create the building therefore I will have um, it can be private. Oh, I can't even spell. Uh, private, it's a game object because it is anything from the game, anything in my list. I can't drag everything in here. So I'm gonna spawn a building. Um, building spawn. That's the one I'm gonna do. I'm gonna instantiate it. Uh, I actually have a Discord server, but I don't use it. I can. <laughs> my cool sunglasses, they are just here. They're here. But I've put them in my uh, little glass container. But I'm not using my Discord, my Discord. I should use my Discord server. But I actually don't. So we're instantiating, but here we need to do a couple of things. Um, in instantiate, what do we need? Uh, what object do we want to instantiate? And here I'm gonna have a public variable, which is also a game object. And that's what I'm gonna call building type. Uh, for automation, uh, difficult to say. I would say C++ is always good to know, um, but Python nowadays, Python gets bigger and bigger. So I would, if I would need to learn a new language, it would be Python. A gift box. Now, Vost, <laughs> don't send me a gift box. Please don't. <laughs> you don't. Know. That's the answer. You just don't send anything. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks for the offer. So we're instantiating the building type that I can control then from outside of this function. Um, that's it already. Is that it? If I don't put anything, can I do it? Or uh, where T? Yeah, where? That's it already. So, <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. That's it. This is the whole function. It's gonna work already, but it's gonna be stupid. So let's see. I think it's gonna work already. Oh, sorry. So here we have the um, building, the type that we need to put in here. And there I will just take my house. And that is a so-called prefab. Um, I think I haven't done anything with this yet. It's this one, is it this one? I'm just gonna take my old one and I'm gonna make a new prefab. I'm gonna call it house test. I don't know if this is gonna work. It's gonna look ugly. That's it. That's all I have to say right now. But it's gonna be funny. <laughs> That's the most important thing. So I can go there. And if I hit E on it, like if I see the little hand and hit E, that means I'm gonna interact with it. And then maybe it will already spawn. How 00 test clone spawned. You saw it here on the left in the list. If I go to my scene view, I can actually check it out where it is. It is there, but the problem is, it is at 000 of my coordinate system, which is somewhere, not even on my map that I built. So um, yeah, that's something we need to change. So we actually need the uh, coordinates of our foundation here. Yeah, the only problem is that the um, that we're not we don't have the what is it called uh it's not centered let's let's just say it's not centered um that's the problem so i could now do mathematics and fancy stuff but no i'm way too lazy for it that's why i will do the following in blender 
in here, I will just exactly there where you see the dot. That is our center right now. Yeah, pivot, pivot, Drehpunkt, <laughs> pivot. Uh, I'm gonna create a small element here. And this is the small element is gonna serve as the um, as our spawn point. Uh, here we go. Uh, how do I create something? I even forgot. I forgot all the shortcuts right now because it's already so late. What? Oh, uh, yeah, I spawned it there. No. Let's actually, oops, put it there, right, a little bit below. So we're spawning actually under the, so that it's not floating on top. Yeah, I like it more. And uh, now we're gonna add an element. It's just a little, little, little cube. Doesn't matter how small it is. It's just one centimeter big. You see it, you can't see it. I know, it's insane. And I don't want this to be in there. I actually want this to separate. And this is the spawn point. Done. We haven't changed anything in the model or anything. Like we can't see it, but now we will have in our software, we will have the spawn point. And I can just take the spawn point and put it in there. Um, so in our code, I will have a new game object. I will call it spawn point. And this is going to serve as our spawn point. And then I need just the coordinates for it. Um, yeah, I just need to know how does this look like transform. Um, Vector three position, okay, and quaternion is the rotation. That's easy. Um, dot transform. Ah, I can't spell <laughs> transform dot position. So that's our position of the spawn point, and we will also have um, not the position but the rotation as well. Rotation. Here we go. Done. I saved. I can now, to my script, I will just add this little spawn point. There at the script, there we have the spawn point goes in here. And now, the building should not spawn in the center of the map or of the coordinate system. It should just spawn on there. Let's see. Boop. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, I started incorrect. I mean, it's not wrong. <laughs> yeah, Mohamed, uh, Blender is a little bit like uh, AutoCAD. Yeah, Saturday and Sunday are off here. Thanks, Vost. And also Monday is also off, right? Awesome, I've got three days off of work. Have a good night's sleep. I will also not make too long. Yeah, that didn't really work. Um, the problem is, I know what the problem is, I think. Do I know the problem? The problem is that Blender and uh, Unity use different coordinate systems. This house actually, that worked. Can I take this? What happens if I take this? Sorry, I just gotta test out some things. Will this work? But will it blend? Boom, boom, boom. Okay, that is... Strange. I mean, I can just change the rotation manually. That that is nothing. But oh, the... let's change the rotation. It doesn't matter. I've 
I know. Um, but we use, hey, MTM, ATM. Uh, we use uh, Siemens NX because I I have tight bonds with Siemens and it's just freaking expensive. It's a really good tool, but it's so freaking expensive. Um, I will have to create a so-called quaternion in U1 and that's basically telling something about the rotation and that one is going to be I don't know which direction is the wrong one maybe maybe that's going to do I don't know can I just write new quaternion oh really what do I have to do what That does make sense. Good. I mean, the easiest would even be easier. Can just go to the podium to the spawn point and just rotate the spawn. Oh, the spawn point has a rotation in it. Why does the spawn point have a rotation? That might be a problem. Man, the music gets better and better. Yeah, that was the problem, that the spawn point actually had a rotation. Ah, okay, that makes sense. See, and now we spawned a building. Ain't that awesome? We got a building. Guys, we have a building now. The only problem is that this building, the the, is way too foundation is way too big of the building that I already have. So I'm just gonna quickly change it. Open recent uh, building. Do I have building house? What? That song sounds awesome. Yeah, you see, it's basically down there. Why I did this, I don't know. Uh, scale Z. No. Just this album. What is the song? I like it, but it's strange. That looks way better. See, we're directly at the center. I will just make it but if we're slightly below ground. Like this. Save this. Got that. Got it covered. And now you will see the magic of Someone that knows all these tools for four months, maybe. There we go. We got a building and we can build, we can basically build. Awesome. So now I don't need that place there anymore. So we can just get rid of it. Let's see. Uh, you're interested in PLCs? That's good. Are you a student? Oh, da, da, da. Yeah, I've also, I have the same problem with Siemens. They're, they're, but you gotta understand, there's like huge, like the, there's so many different products. I I still feel lost. But yeah, it's all over the place. Siemens. There's a saying that goes like this um if siemens knew what siemens knows there's i think how many employees does the siemens have 300,000 and they're even competing against each other it's not like the company has like like they're all working together there's a lot of like oh that's how big companies are everyone needs to make their revenue to save their own asses um which is not a bad thing keeps competition alive uh, no, I just typed in Siemens and because I usually go to my Siemens website, it's directly me there. I just want to Google it. How many? 385,000. Um, but I don't really like that. Like, it's so hard for a beginner to actually get in that train of thinking. 
Same, it's the same situation with, like, yeah, exactly, boss. Exactly that's what I'm saying. It's the same with every big company. There's probably some that make it good, that make, make it decent. Um, like, website and stuff, but, man, I don't know any. I couldn't name any. Probably Apple does, but I don't know. And a big problem is with international companies. Uh, Dan Foster's might be, I don't know it. Um, a huge problem with international companies is you have then the same thing in German, in English, in, or not, in, not the language is not a problem, but in Germany, in France, in Russia, in Poland, in the US, in Canada. And each of those is slightly different because the country just works differently. So they have to create everything 10 times with different standards. And it's it's just a huge thing. Um, it's a huge feat to do, actually, but I don't really like like. That's why big companies are not the best thing. I like companies pretty small because well, they're not too complex. There's not like they can concentrate on the one thing that's good, which doesn't happen in big companies. They concentrate on thousands of things. Yeah, there's no main page. Like I don't know Siemens. Like like the IT. The Siemens is not an IT company. That, that's pretty clear. The products are awesome, but not an IT company. So now I have a building system. Like I, I can't select what. A oh, variable of type podium building. I have deleted the building and I had linked it here. I want the house here. In this one. I could theoretically take this, but I actually want. <laughs> Fizarro, whatever you want to model. Do you want to model something? Can be anything. Like, I I, I could... Oop, that, that's awesome. No, it looks like a little temple. <laughs> I think, Mohamed, you said it earlier. It looks like a little temple. <laughs> Especially now there. <laughs> this is awesome. Um, if you want to model something, I don't know. I, I wouldn't need anything. Like, I can build... Whatever you want, I can put in the game here. Um... And whatever you want, it will be in there. A beer tank. <laughs> yeah, thanks, you too. Have a good night's sleep. I make a beer tank. Still, I've got so many things I'm working on. Too many, actually. <laughs> a favorite thing that I still have to fix. Not fix, fix, but that I have to change. You see the weapon? Like, like I'm just standing still and it's like... <laughs> I was playing around with animations. Um, I can, This is just like a 10 seconds fix, but it's still much fun. Yeah, pistol animation, I can't just take the aisle and I'll just make this now 0 0.1. That's fixed. There we go. Got it. <laughs> that was fun, like waving it around. Looks funny. Yeah, it looks a little bit nervous. Now it's okay. Now it's just like an idle animation. Alright, he's like a little bit drunk maybe, but that's okay. I mean, he's just wielding a gun. <laughs> yeah. Hey, those are not deep. And those are little goblins, I think. I don't even know what I wanted to make. I think goblins. Oh, wait. I can't do this because then the animation will be too slow. Um, what? No, what? This is not. Wow. That should be better, maybe. I think. It won't work anymore. Okay. I just can't do it for now. I know what the problem is, but I I would need to think about the value a bit. I know it doesn't want to work at all. Give me my shoot back. Oh, why is the music stopped? Music. 
I cannot shoot. Why does the shoot animation not play? Come on. I don't like it. Like, if you fix one thing, another thing is broken. <laughs> that's, that's programming in general, but I don't like I just don't like it. Where is my gun? Enough of playing around. I have never animated anything. And it's quite complex in the first place. It's easy if you get if yeah if you get used to it. But if you're new, you're completely lost. There's good tutorials on it, but they weren't exactly what I wanted. How does my animation not play? Like I'm observing all the stuff here on the reset. Oh there. This is the problem that the idle is now way too way too long. Why is it? Now it's so fiddly, probably. What now? Oh yeah, now it works. There we go. Uh, not the, the yes, no, this was correct. No, it's a little bit strange, but okay. So, uh, yeah, those are not demons, those are little goblins. Let's have a look at them. Yeah, shooting works again, okay, good. No, the reload is bugged. Everything is bugged, but still. <laughs> Those are not demons. They're, they're little goblins. Let's give them eyes. So they don't freak me out anymore. It's awesome now. We can build. I love that. Like, there's progress. Like, every day I make some progress on this game. And that's always fun. Uh, no, that's not what I want. This is... orientation yeah that's orientation. um yeah that's a little goblin creature can make it smooth that would help already <laughs> but no i like the f more flat ish style uh we're gonna add eyes on it i'm just gonna add two eyes very very quick i don't know where I think here. Let's put it there. I don't care. And we're gonna add just a little sphere. It's really small. Uh, not rings. I don't care about rings. About the size for now. <laughs> that looks like it <laughs> looks bad. Yeah, I modeled it. Of course, I modeled everything. Eight by eight. That should be fine. 2.01, that's just one centimeter. That's too small. 2.02. So that, look, that looks too big a little bit, but that's okay. That looks okay. That's a nice eye there. And we're gonna put one on the left side as well. Could have just copied and pasted, but... No. Just no. Just, just no. Here we go. See, no, it got, now they got eyes. I would still have to do so much for the game, but I mean, there's already a lot in it. <laughs> I got the little eyes. <laughs> Love it. Awesome. Let's maybe give the eyes another color. Uh, well, no, I. Why did I do that? Uh, I should have made the eyes uh, like the different. Think about the selection mode, how I select the smartest word now. Oh no, 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 like this? Can I do this? Oh no, it's not. Oh, oh god damn it. I'm really having a problem of selection right now. Like everything like this. Let's because I want the eyes to be separate objects so I can give them separate colors. I, 
could mirror it, but I'm way too lazy to mirror it right now. So these are one thing now, so they are separate and let's do it. Why not? Um, I could just make them white now. That makes sense. Let's, let's just make it white for now and then we're gonna give it some nice um, nice <laughs> uh, some nice painting on it. That should look that should look uh, whoops wrong way <laughs> wrong way. <laughs> uh, no you get the uh, you get the goblin orange. Uh, you eyes. You will get the white. Yeah, that that's not creepy at all. That is really spooky. <laughs> I shouldn't do stuff like that at half past twelve. What? Why are they rotating? <laughs> Why are they rotated like that? Why is there a nose not facing me? Guys, what do you do to me? I was always wondering why that happens. Oh, I know why. I am an idiot. I was... Am I? What? Oh, yeah, I am an idiot. Officially, I am an idiot. <laughs> Flop. <laughs> hey Ali, I'm not I'm not a ninja. <laughs> oh, there we go. There, there was something wrong with the rotation all the time. I was wondering what it is. Because they were never facing me, they were just looking awkwardly a little bit next to me. I was like, okay, sure, if you want to. This one's better, okay. I must have done something wrong in the when I created them. Now they should also face me. Oh yeah, they do now. Oh, look at them! <laughs> yeah, they're cute. <laughs> they're, they're like little... I don't... I, I call them goblins, I think, but I don't know what they are. I really do not know what they are. They're little creatures. Let's just call them what they are, little creatures. Oh, let's give them give them little top hats. Glob <laughs> Globlins. I love Globlins. I will go I will call them Globlins. <laughs> Glo Globlins. I love it. Thank you. That's gonna be Globlins. I'm gonna steal that word. Um Save as Globlin. Globlin. <laughs> oh yeah. Um So now we have this, and there should now be a new file here that says Globlin instead. Yeah. See that one is that one looks like a Globlin. <laughs> oh, I still need to give this one the parameters that these have. Let's delete two of them. Ah, uh, because they have scripts and stuff, and I don't know, I can't remember what they have. Um, can I just copy and paste? Probably can. Uh, copy component. Paste component as new. Yeah, perfect. Possible. I'll just copy everything over there. Paste component as new. Um, copy component. Um, paste component as new. I just need to do that basically once or twice because I need to set, still set up a prefab, so called. Oh, that's the collider, so I cannot jump on it, I think. Yeah, and Globlin, here we go. So one is a Goblin, the other one is a Globlin. So the... What happens if I do this? Do I have gravity turned on for them? Oh, I do. 
so the goblin is done for. The goblin is still here. There's the goblin. I'll take the shotgun. <laughs> miss, 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 miss. But I hit also. So here we go. Got this is done. This is done. All my scripts are done for now. Um, I still wanted to work around. Like I still wanted to design a little bit with the goblin. I wanted to give them a little top hat. And yeah, I, I'm just, I'm basically finished for now. I wanted to have this building thing there done. Um, uh, let's do this cursor to select it. Let's spawn a new component, which is gonna be a cylinder. Perfect. Yeah, they're gonna have really huge top hats. Don't ask me why, but that's how it is. Alright, we're doing this probably fine. So let's take 16, doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, really, really huge top hats. I think, like this? <laughs> definitely, yeah, yeah, that's definitely what I want. <clears throat> A bit more, and then they're gonna have, of course, the little... I don't know what it's called in English. It looks like a chef, like, like a cook. <laughs> Actually, it looks like a horn right now. <laughs> that doesn't look healthy. I'm sorry, little buddy. Um, I'm gonna go with this, and there's gonna be like this. No, I just gotta do this. No. No. Uh. Wait, what was the button? Ah, uh, no. Extrude is okay. And now... Scale. No. Uh, scale and... Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, perfect. I think we, we have just developed the best, the, like the perfect enemy. <laughs> Come here, little goblin. Oh yeah, look at him, little gentleman. <laughs> it's too late in the night. <laughs> look at him. Why are you so cute? I can even shoot his little hat and he will die. Oh no, he won't, right? His hat is invincible. But their hat isn't. I can just just right between the eyes. I mean there's nothing else I can do. I gotta I gotta save him. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> oh you can make a goblin hot? Yeah, sure, that that'd be awesome. Like whatever you want to do, I can put it then in the game here. I'm not, but I can already tell you, like if it's in the final game and I'm gonna release it, I probably won't give anyone credit. Um, just saying it already. I will definitely thank you and everything, but I will definitely forget in the game that uh, anyone else would have worked on it. Would that look even better? Look at this top head. Oh my god, this it's Duck Demodome. Like Dimmerdome from Dimsdale Dimmerdome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimmerdome. I don't know. <laughs> His head is twice the size as him. Uh, it's still not big enough, I would say. Ah, oh, that's too big. That looks ridiculous. That looks okay. But I think it should be black. Let's 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 paint it black. That looks awesome. <laughs> it's even, there's even shadows. Uh, it even automatically has shadows. Oh yeah, he's the boss. He's the, he's the village chieftain. 
he's the boss, you can tell. And I can basically now actually also take him and, and just bump up his, his speed. I bumped up his speed. And of course the acceleration. Um, and I will also bump up his health. He's invincible. He's got 700 health. Probably you can't see because it's behind me. Somewhere there. Uh, somewhere, somewhere here. Somewhere. It says 700. You can't tell. You don't need to. <laughs> He's probably gonna like run. <laughs> He's so fast. He's Sonic. I can't. I cannot escape. <laughs> and I can't shoot him because he's got so much health. Oh no, I <laughs> that's the end boss. I already have my end boss of the game. <laughs> I like the music that just perfectly um, describes how I'm feeling about him. Here you go, he's normal again. <sighs> I'm getting really tired. <clears throat> this is actually fun. I don't know why I did that, but I wanted him to have a hat. I like that the goblin itself... This is how the character looks, by the way, that I'm controlling. I like that the character is just a sphere. Another sphere, capsule. And the goblin is just too powerful. He's got a hat. He's He's got a spear. He's got a little hat on. <laughs> you would... You shouldn't... I shouldn't mess with him. But boop, I can spawn a building. So this is great. This is actually great. Yeah. So I think I, I think you realize that my concentration is actually really low and I'm running out of energy a little bit. Uh, but <laughs> man, I'm gonna look at him one last time. He's too. He's just too pretty. Look at him. Let's just look at him. He is the most pretty thing in the world. <laughs> Little top hat, Globlin. There he is in all his glory. You know what I'm gonna do? That's the last thing and then I'm gonna uh, finish it for today. I am going to... Give this little man the big chance that he was waiting for. You finished the hut already? What? I don't know how you can send it to me. Uh, you can send it to my email or upload it somewhere. You already finished it? What? <laughs> and I'm just fooling around here. So, uh, yeah. Uh, wait. Um, you're gonna get a green crown, basically. Here you go. Some green grass. And in the background, I'm gonna add some... Um, a small goblin huh? that's still that's still a lot um, that's gonna be the sky basically uh, the sky is of course some blue and now I'm gonna I, I still have the camera here somewhere there view lock camera to view Oops. I keep pressing the wrong buttons because I'm working in two softwares at the same time. Oh yeah, majestic. He is so majestic. We won't put the whole hat in there because, well, it's just too big to fit in pictures. Oh yeah, look at him. He is so pretty. I need to change one or two things. This is cycles. It's not CPU. It's GPU compute, of course. And I think we can render now. And then he's gonna look so awesome. We can render the image. <laughs> In all his glory. Ah, wait, wait, wait. I still need to change something. Com no. Compositing. Now we can render. Uh, yeah, I don't know how you could send it to me. Can you upload it somewhere or so? If I should implement it? Oh, he's still hovering. He's so powerful, he's just hovering off the ground. 
I think the light should come from the front so we can actually see him. I always want to make a horror game. Maybe that maybe that will be the entrance to my horror game that I'm going to make at some point. <laughs> Look at him, he's so pretty. Uh, how about Discord? Right, I can, right, right, Discord. Uh, let me just hook up my Discord. Let me just start it up. And there it is. Uh, don't look at it. There we go. Uh, what is this? I got, I actually got a Discord. Do you have a, like, I can add you, I can just make a new server very quick. Ah, uh, yeah, Globlin. I'm gonna call it Globlin. No, I'm not gonna invite anyone. Here we go. I'm not gonna join the voice chat there or anything. You can hear my voice anyway. Uh, you can go in there and just upload the the file. I don't know how that works, but you can do it. And I'll download and put the Goblin Hut right next to them. I hear just the sound. Oh no, that was just the music. But look at this picture, isn't that pretty? Wait, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta change our modeling here a little bit. The model is not pretty enough. I mean, he is, but uh, the light was just not correct. So let's actually use the render mode here. Where's the light? Oh, the light is there. No, the light should should be way more up front here. And scale. Uh, where is the light? The light. Color. Power. Let's make it more powerful. Yeah, that's way better. Welcome, Mr. Fazero. <laughs> oh, it says in German. I, I don't know. You haven't painted it yet. <laughs> you have no idea what the dimension is. Doesn't matter. Just put it in there and I'm going to put it in the game. Let's see. I mean, I don't know if, it, if it's going to make the cut to the final game or so, but we'll see. Oh, look at this. Oh, the little shadow. Look at the shadow actually right sitting right on top of his eyes. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, the hat is actually... It fits on the picture. Oh, no. Yeah, can you upload it there? Ah, oh, there we go. It's an STL file. I think I can open it, but let's see. There's my downloads. To see my downloads. Ah, he's pretty. Um, save this. I don't know if I can import STL files here. I gotta admit, I gotta say. Whoops. <laughs> the little Globlin, because I changed the Blender file, now it is actually adapted in the software directly. That's pretty, isn't it? Ah, that's, uh, that's not pretty. Little Globlin, I'm sorry, but Blender's gotta go. There we go. Better. Now this is gonna be fixed here as well. Good. Uh, so I have the Goblin Hut. Let's put it somewhere. I have a folder that I called Imported. I mean, I can import it already. You see, I cannot really use it here. I can open it in uh, Blender, I think. Uh, import STL file, yeah. Oh no, I didn't want to. I didn't want to do it there. I want to do a new file. Um. Open. No, new, 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 new file. It's gonna be a general file, and I want all of this gone. Can't hit delete. Okay. File imports STL desktop Goblin Hut. 
that's quite big. Oh, that looks that looks really good actually. That looks really cool. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. That was fast. Did you? With what did you do it? Did you do it with um, AutoCAD? I'm just gonna put it in the right place here so I can really use it. <laughs> oh yeah, I can tell you did it with AutoCAD. Do you see all the like like all of these? All of these are uh, uh, like every single dot that you see is a vertex, um, or a vertex actually, and it's got three thousand five hundred, which is still okay. But it's so many. Like my Globlin has probably, I don't know, way less. Um, I'm gonna make a new folder actually. New folder 05 underscore. Uh, structures. It's called structures. Yeah, if you could do that, if you could just reduce it a little bit. I mean, it looks real nice now, but you see, you see the problem? It really is like this. Like, just the window here has 10 times the amount of vertices that my... Of vertexes? Vertices? I don't know how it's called. Uh, than the goblin itself. I think, like, 10,000 is still not too many. Or 3,300. Um, but I want to keep my game not too complicated now. Oh yeah, I saved this. And now I can basically... Go here. Go to Blender. That's all I call it. There should be structures. And there's Globlin Hut. What? Oh, it's still a little bit big. <laughs> it's as big as the whole map that I've created. <laughs> well, that's a little bit too big, you know. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I'll just make it smaller here in, Blend, uh, in, in Unity. I mean, but that's so awesome. Now I have a little hut for them. I, they, they live in here. Got this little door. <laughs> here we go. Look, it's in there now. Look at them. That's so pretty. Oh yeah, you, you're already way more familiar with like 3D softwares than I am. I have barely worked with one now. Yeah, I can see all the little um, edges there still. What I could do... <laughs> they can still walk through it. Could add like a collider. Add collider. Mesh collider actually. No, they can't walk through anymore. Um, I want to say something. What did I start? I started saying something. I forgot. I could actually smooth it out in uni uh, in Blender already. It's nice. Can I go in? I can't go in because of the tall. <laughs> I can shoot it. Posted the new model. Okay, got it. I mean, I could already. I, I low poly. <laughs> um, I could have done that as well in the software. So that's this one. Mm. Let's say this is a high res. I mean, it's not really high res, but it's still high. A poly count. Low poly. Poly? Spelled with an I or an poly? Because it's polygons, it should be I. Strange. But it's, it's with Y, I think. Is Polygon spelled with Y? Probably is. I'm just stupid. Oh wait, I have to hit import, right? Uh, import. ST. 
ATL, Goblin Heart, no, 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 from my downloads. Let me push it on the desktop right now. There we go. And now it has way less. Yeah, it has a third, not even. And it still looks decent. What I can do to make it actually look nicer is I can smoothen it out. <laughs> it doesn't look... Now it looks like a... Um, what's it for children? A uh, high uh, I, it For children, the, the bouncy ca bouncing castle? Bouncing... What the children could bounce in. Which one is nice? I think... It doesn't look as good anymore because it just the shadows and stuff, they just mess everything up. I'll just make that very small here. Um, resize, no. Uh, measure. How big is it? It's still like 10 meters. It's for goblins. No, it's... This is... This is uh, hey, number one, defeat it. Uh, delete it, not defeat it. Yeah, smoothing looks too much. It looks like Play-Doh, yeah. I do not like it as well. Now we've got it resized. I just need to push it in the right position. And then we can actually... Uh... Oh, it's saved already. Ah, it should automatically have already changed it because I saved it in the same file. So this one is not there anymore. It's gone, yeah. Uh, is this already? Yeah, it's the low poly. Look at it now! It is so pretty. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> I love it. I should I should actually ask my community that I have a small community here, uh, including you, of course, um, to make things for it. That would be so awesome. Look at them, they have to walk around now. And yes, I call it walking. I know they are kind of levitating, they just walk right through. Why? How? I... What? Globlin Hut has a mesh collider, but no... Oh, no mesh. Uh, Globlin Hut. Low poly Globlin Hut mesh, please. There we go. Now they cannot walk through anymore. You're a programmer? <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm not, I'm just a fool. A fool with some spare time because of the lockdown. No, lockdown. There's no lockdown anymore at all, anywhere. Still, I'm just a fool with time now. Because I'm still not full time working. Oh, now they have to walk to. What? Do I have to walk around? I cannot go through. They can. What? How? <laughs> what? <laughs> They're cheating. How can they do it? How? What? They're cheaters. Oh, I know why. Um, I have something called an AI, actually. Navigation mesh. And that needs to be rebaked. Bake. Bake. By clicking on baking, I make it so that actually Unity calculates where uh, things can walk that have an um, artificial intelligence, which are those globlins. And that didn't work. I can still walk there. What? Why? Let me see if everything is correct with the globlin. Uh, I'm getting really tired actually. Ah, <laughs> uh, so this is. Let's make it a convex mesh collider. Convex mesh collider means it's not as precise anymore, but it is um, like it is less calculation power, and it should still work. And I don't need it to be precise. You see, I can I can not. They can. Why can you? You cheaters! You dirty, dirty little cheaters! They even have a collider. Base offset. Oh, 
obstacle avoidance. There's obstacle avoidance. You can see it because I'm right there. There's a thing called obstacle avoidance and they are with a radius of 0.3. And that is definitely an obstacle. Strange. Strange, but okay, I won't care about that right now. Thanks for the hut. That's an awesome thing. Uh, I should probably get more people on this and let more people create things for me because, well, I can only do that much. Because this looks nice. <laughs> oh, just, let's just do it. That's the last thing I already said last thing I know before, but now the last thing that I'll do is just, I'm gonna uh, paint this really quick. Uh, which means uh, really quick is good. Really quick would be difficult. <laughs> you see, even the um, even the straight area here, that's just a plane. Hey, that's that's nice. Thank you. Um, this is just a plane, but it has so many lines in it, so many um, edges going through it that are just not necessary. For a 3D program, of course they are, but for um, uh, Blender, where you just want to build models and don't need any calculation of forces and so, they're not necessary. If you want to do force calculations, of course they are, but not like that. Not how I'm using it. Even worse if I'm looking at this, like in a mesh. It's called mesh. I think it's called the mesh. Um, that. If I just want to paint it, that would be way too much right now. So I'm not, I, I'm not going to do it. I want to do it. I think I'm not. Oh, wireframe. This is called wireframe. Let me try one thing. Oh yeah, uh, no, I, I won't, <laughs> I won't paint it. Painting it would be a pain in the ass right now, as they say. Uh, I will show you why. Um, first of all, I need uh, shading. I will need. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, it doesn't have a material. Oh, okay. I mean, I could now change it, basically change the color to whatever we want. Like a light little goblin hut would probably be some brownish tone, I would assume. Oops, not bluish. Some brownish, a little more dark. It's probably something like that, or even grayer because it's, um, it's more rock. It's more rock. Ish. Um, but I would like to paint it and for painting I would need a picture um, and there's image texture uh, let's just create a new picture goblin gut <laughs> goblin hut uh, image Yeah, and the main problem right now is that this goblin hut image, this is this here on the side. Oh, it's not showing here. Uh, I can paint it now. It should show up somewhere probably, but I don't know where exactly. Uh, I can paint. Missing UVs. Oh, it doesn't have UVs. Uh, the problem is this exactly with UVs. UVs are basically how is this. All of this, how is this translated into the picture? Because that's 3D and 3D into 2D, you need some translation. And UVs are the translation from 3D to, to, 2D, uh, to 2D, and I need to unwrap it. You see, now out of all of this, it just simply made a triangle. Because it's so freaking complex. Yeah, that won't really work, I think, no. Could make a new V project, but no, this is too complex. Now the problem is if I paint one area, all other areas will also be painted because they're somehow in this triangle here. If I paint on a triangle, you see what happens. <laughs> I mean, it's a cool effect, but that no, that doesn't help. Uh, no. 
course, Blender cannot unwrap it automatically. I mean, this looks pretty cool, I gotta say. But not, not exactly what I want. <laughs> Let's paint it maybe a bit brighter. Let's give it some nice tone here. I could go with the music. <laughs> now it just looks like a dirty little hut. And that's exactly what it is. I can also directly paint on here. But it's the same problem. Like it's gonna change all the other places as well. Still pretty cool. So I'll just keep it without the image. What we had before, like if I go to shading, I'm just gonna delete the image and keep it like this. That's nice. And then we will have the color here as well. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's awesome. <laughs> That's all we need. Boom. Ah, oh, you little hat. You're so proud of your little hat, I know. I cannot walk there. Why can they walk? right through it's strange and why is it hovering I just now realized I'm gonna shoot your head off oh, I'm getting so tired <laughs> okay I think I'm getting too tired to continue some programming but what we did ah oh, thank you thanks for the hut thanks for the hut uh, Fizarro that's pretty cool and we have made this foundation. We can now put a building on top. If we use the, there's the use button here. If we use this, we can put a building on top and that's awesome. We can open the door, we can go in here. Are we still being followed? We can lock him in. Let's try to lock him in. Last thing, I said last thing 50 times already. Last thing, we're gonna lock him in. He will spend his entire existence locked up in the little room there. Come with me. Come with me, little one. You know you want it. I'm not allowed to shoot. If I would shoot, he would die. Because he's one shot. Come with me. He's too slow. Come with me. Yeah, I've got a surprise. I've got a nice, nice little surprise for you. Come with me. Yeah. In there. Do you see it? This is your new home. I, I built a house just for you. I know. I know. No need to thank me. I could build a second one, actually. I can build... <laughs> it's just gonna get more bright and bright. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what did I do? Oh, the doors are open. I closed. I have to open them one by one. <laughs> Where are they? Come here, open up already. There's almost the last one. Come on. How many can there be? That's it. Yeah, come with me, little Globlin. Where are you, Globlin? Oh, he can't move up here, right, because he's bound to the nav mesh. Ah, oh, I wanted to give you the new house, but you don't want it. Okay, then. Good night. I won't shoot you. Ah, you're my best friend. <laughs> okay, this was fun. I'll probably do that every once in a while now, um, just letting you in on the project. That's pretty cool. So thanks for joining on this trip. It was really a trip with the music and with being stupid. So I'll see you next time around. Also get some good night's rest, right? Because here it's nighttime already. It's 1 a.m. Way too late. I gotta go to bed. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining. Have a nice day. Stay safe and healthy. <laughs> Globlins. <laughs>